would you do if you were Israel when Gaza shoots rockets at Israel? لو أنت محل إسرائيل وغزة ضربت عليك صواريخ شو بتعمل؟ بضرب عليها. لو أنت إسرائيل وغزة ضربت عليك صواريخ شو بتعمل لو أنت محل إسرائيل؟ شو بعمل لو إسرائيل؟ لو أنا لو أنت آه لو أنت إسرائيل. شو سبب؟ So I asked him, and he said I would hit back, and I made sure he understood the question, mm -hmm. and then I, and then he understands it, and, and he said, "Are the Gazans hitting rockets without reason?" Yes, let's say yes. خلينا نحكي إنه آه عم بضربوا إسرائيل بدون سبب صواريخ. شو بتعمل لو شو بتعمل لو إنك محل إسرائيل؟ بضرب كمان مرة. تضرب تضرب غزة؟ لا بضرب إسرائيل كمان مرة. خد كمان مرة. وضح السؤال. وضح السؤال. Okay. نحكي إنك أنت إسرائيل. أنا إسرائيل. أنت إسرائيل. دولة إسرائيل هاي غزة. I'm not doing your face. Yes. غزة ضربت عليك صواريخ. أنت إسرائيل. هذا أنت. أنت أنت صعب الأمور ليش؟ أنا مش. Why are you making things difficult? أنا وياك. أنا غزة وأنت إسرائيل. أنا ضربت عليك صواريخ. شو بتعمل؟ بدون سبب. Is it without reason? آه بدون سبب ضربت عليك صواريخ. فيش إشي بدون سبب. There is nothing without a reason. فيش. ما في إشي بدون سبب. So the Israelis do it for for. If Palestinians do it for reason and Israelis do it for reason. Ah, of course. And Israel is trying to kill them because of it. Israel is trying to kill me. It's not seeing it from the Israeli point of view. He's saying Israel is taking my land. It's occupying me. Okay. It's like a thorn in my throat. Okay. What would you do if you were Israel and Gaza was shooting rockets at you? What would you do? آه شو ممكن شو ممكن تعملوا أنتوا التنين بدنا جواب منكم أنتوا التنين لو أنتوا آه لو أنتوا إسرائيل وغزة كانت عم تطلق عليكم صواريخ شو بتعملوا؟ آه طبعا غزة بتطلق صواريخ لأنها بتطلق آه على محتل بتقاوم في الدفاع عن نفسها غزة is resisting and they are shooting rockets at an occupier Okay but if you were the occupier what would you do؟ بس إذا أنت كنت المحتل شو ممكن تعمل؟ أنا إذا ما كنت محتل ما بطلق أنا بطلع ما ما بضل محتل أصلاً. I wouldn't remain as an occupier. I would leave. ومس عايشة. شو ممكن تعمل يوم يتم حلهم؟ أنا ممكن أنا بدافع عن حالي لو كان في خطر. أنا صوتي رائع. وأنا كمان. في خطر بس أنا ما أكون معتدية يعني. I would defend myself, but I wouldn't be the aggressor. Okay. Okay. Now, when you were going back, you would leave leave Gaza or leave all the land? تطلع كل ال. كل الأرض ولا بس غزة تطلع منها؟ إذا أنت عم تحكي لو أنك كنت أنت المحتل تطلع آه. تطلع من الأرض ولا تطلع بس من غزة؟ المناطق المحتلة كلها the... المناطق المحتلة All the lands All the occupied lands Including جافا and حيفا بما فيها حيفا ويافا حيفا ويافا كلها محتلة طبعا Yes they are occupied of course yes Okay so you think they should leave If you were the occupier you would leave فبرأيك لو أنت كنت المحتل تطلع بطلع طبعا بطلع if someone takes, if someone comes and takes my home by force, I wouldn't be patient and quiet. Okay, but isn't that what Palestinians are doing to the Israelis? They're coming to take Jaffa back. بس مش بس مش هذا اللي الفلسطينيين عم بعملوه هلا في الإسرائيليين. الفلسطينيين بدهم يرجعوا على يافا ويطلعوا الإسرائيليين من بيوتهم. طبعا معظم معظم الاسرائيليين اللي كانوا موجودين معظم الاسرائيليين الموجودين حاليا هنا ما كانوا هنا مش من كل من الدول الخارجيه اجوا have come from outside they came from outside countries they should go back to where they came from because they um, kicked out people from their places شو انت شو انت كنت رح تعمل لو انت كنت في مكان اسرائيل و Actually, see, you have to go to the beginning point when the Israel, يعني occupation, take over our place. See, from 1948, there's what there was no Israel. They swept over our place, and you know the incubation. Okay, so what should Israel do now? Should Israel do now? I think at least, at least they they leave Gaza to leave. Okay. Listen. But then Gaza listen, shoots rockets. Listen, I want to explain to you exactly why Gaza, why Gaza, 
do that. Okay. See, if you go to Jerusalem and you see what happened in Masjid Al-Aqsa, which is our Muhammad Prophet, mm -hmm. okay, you know, you know our Muhammad Prophet. Yes, of see, um, they every day they kill the people there. They uh, they do a lot of problem there. So in Gaza they shoot see, rockets because least, of what happens in have, the mosque have, they, in Israel. Jerusalem. They have to respect our religion. Okay. See, Masjid Al-Aqsa is the most important place relating to our religion. Al okay, but wait a second, wait a second. Uh, they what happened in, in Gaza? In Gaza, they did this 10 years Gaza, ago. Gaza, what they did, this is the answer, the answer for what Israel do in Jerusalem. But 10 years ago, Israel they didn't tried do that to in force Jerusalem. Him, they tried to force him to stop the war in Jerusalem. This yes, but that's now. What happened 10 years ago? Ten years ago, yeah. I don't know. Also, they shot rockets. You see, the, the, yeah, this problem it will be continue up to end you know. until the end times. Yeah. I think peace is. Uh, I hope. I hope peace will happen. Okay. And uh, I hope. I hope also to stop the war around all the world. But see, yeah, if you are in our place, if you put yourself in our place. Mm -hmm. Somebody will come. Somebody come and take your home. And if you go to social media, I have seen one guy, which is uh, Israeli. Mm -hmm. They ask him why you take away, why you take the home. He said, I, if I did not take this home, maybe someone else will come take and, and take this home. And he understand very well this home for Palestinian people. And I don't like to speak more about this, but I think you have knowledge about what happened in Jerusalem. What would you do if you were Israel and the Gaza Gaza was shooting rockets at you? لو أنت في مكان إسرائيل، okay، وكانوا كانت غزة عم تطلق عليك صواريخ، شو كان شو ممكن تعملي؟ لو أنك مكانهم؟ أنا مكان إسرائيل؟ yeah. Fine. Now isn't the place in Israel? Yeah. The last. Yes. If it was like the opposite. Yes. Yes. I don't know what to do. I, I, nothing is coming to my mind. Okay. This is this is this is uh, putting someone in a tight spot. Yes, as someone says from the side. Okay. Any opinions? Anyone? Is it okay that they did this? Would you understand? Yes. Yeah. Hal hal hal. Do you understand? Why are they shooting rockets at you? Hal, meaning, do you understand that the people of Gaza are shooting rockets at Israel? Why is Israel demolishing homes? But the question is better to ask the Israelis and not us. But what would they do in their shoes? You, Israel, should put themselves in, in the place of the Gazans. I'm asking Israel too. هو رح يسأل الإسرائيليين نفس السؤال هو بيسأل نفس السؤال لهون ولا هنا بيسأل الفلسطينيين والإسرائيليين. جواب على فكرة مش رح حد يجاوب عليه غير أهل غزة. Nobody's answer this except for the Gaza. إحنا مزبوط يعني إحنا. It's true that we. إحنا كمواطنين as citizens and as Palestinians. يعني نحزن. We grieve. ومعاهم. And we stand with them. وندعي لهم. And we pray for them. But it's not the same as they felt the Gaza. You would never be able to feel how they felt. But to be in your home and for your home to be demolished on top of you would never be. It's, it's not the same as when you are someone who is uh, like observing it or watching it. What, were you, what would you do if you were Israel when Gaza shoots rockets at Israel? That's how it works. If you were Israel, what would you do? How would you act? Not like that way. Okay. It's a uh, resistance. Give, okay. me, give me my country. Okay. And I'm not uh, fire you back. I'm not shoot you. Okay, but until you get your country, uh, they would say stop shooting rockets. But you have to give me my country before. Wait, hold on. Your country is Jaffa and Haifa, everything? That, uh, and then the international law give me like 67. 67. So you're okay with 67? Okay. Even Hamas is okay with 67. Well, eh, sorta. But okay. 
Yes, they say, officially they say a ceasefire. They don't say peace. They say no, ceasefire. They, they say... Hudna. Uh, not Hudna. Before, one year ago, yeah. they published a new... Uh, what do they call it? Uh, a new uh, uh, statement? Okay. A statement. Yeah. It's okay for us to take a country in 67. Oh yeah, okay. Even okay. Hamas. Okay, but if you were Israel and let's... And and uh, uh, Hamas was shooting rockets at Tel Aviv. What would you do, or Jerusalem? This is a resistance. Yes, but uh, so so what? Uh, they didn't. You look before uh, uh, one month ago when what happened in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. The resistance have to respond to that. Uh, yeah, but then Israel has to respond to to what happened in Haram al Sharif and what happened in Gaza. So what's the difference? The same way, you uh, break the Aqsa Mosque and you beat people in the Aqsa Mosque. Mm -hmm. And all the world uh, condemned that to the, to the Israelis mm -hmm. and Netanyahu didn't uh, stop that. To the extremists. Mm -hmm. So this is the resistance, you see, uh, the resistance have to respond to that. But then Israel have to respond to the resistance. That's conflict. That's conflict. I would agree. <laughs> What would you do if you were in Israel's shoes and the Gazans were shooting rockets at you? Like in the last war. Yeah. Put your hand in the Israel and in the war that happened. What would you do if you were Israel and the Gazans were shooting rockets at you? No, no, no. Israel is shooting rockets at you. Israel is shooting rockets at you. Israel is shooting rockets at you. أنا عم بحكي حطي حالك محلهم. أوكي. كان شو بتعملي لو أنت إسرائيل وأجى عليك صوري شو بتعملي؟ They think that we must. Yes. This is the. أنا بعرف شو الواقع. I know the reality. Okay. But what if it was reversed؟ لو الإشي كان معكوس. Okay. لو أنت لو أنت إسرائيل وأجى عليك صوري شو بتعملي؟ إسرائيل ما بجاء صوري خير هيك. Israel has never received rockets for no reason. Israel thinks it only receives rockets for no reason. At least in Israel, they have the... At least in Israel, they have... They have the Iron Dome. They have the, the, the things. Oh, the bunkers. Underground, yes. Uh, they have... Uh, uh, if I'm Israel, I will go... Underground. But, okay. okay, well, they could build them in Gaza. They killed children, women, men, every... So why don't they build them in, in Gaza? Bomb shelters. No, there's no necessity to. No money, no money. No money, yes. No money. 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 Yes. No ليش مش عم بيستعملوا المصاري تبعت الصواريخ اللي يبنوا ملا اللي يبنوا ملاجئ ضد الصواريخ ضد ال ضد القصف مثلاً. They build a fort. They use the money to build tunnels. So why not bomb bomb shelters instead? طب ليش ما يبنوا بدل الأنفاق ملاجئ تحت الأرض عشان تحميهم. See this is honest. I can't believe how honest. Maybe maybe حلوة الفكرة. It's a beautiful idea. I'll make you a prime minister. We'll make you president. We will tell them. Please. What's what's your? Good idea. Yes. Are you the question? Not much. Do you have a like a big imagination? She said not much. Okay. Because it does need a big imagination. Okay. If you if you could imagine, um, uh, being in the shoes of the Israelis. What would you do if people in Gaza shot rockets at your cities? During the war that During, happened? Yeah. Or, okay. At all, in general. We would say that Israel and Gaza are going to kill you. What would you do if you were Israel and Gaza are going to kill you? Look, we are living in the world. I don't want to bring you things. I want to bring you things. I want to bring you things. I want to say that if Israel is going to kill you, وغزة ضربات، أوكي حقها. So we are living in in a situation and a reality and you know what it is. I'm not gonna lie to you. If uh, Israel was the aggressor or did an aggression and uh, Gaza responded, then they are within their rights. Gaza. 
What if it's the other way around? Gazans are within their right to, to respond. To respond. Okay. Mm. If it's the other way around, if Gaza attacked first. Mm. Without a reason? We don't like this. Without a reason, we don't like it. But I can tell you something. They are oppressed. They are imprisoned in a big prison. Israel is They are isolated from أو بده يلفت انتباه إنه يعني انت بقولنا إحنا في عنا مشكلة. Wants to give an opinion or wants to get the attention of the world. Look, we have a problem. يعني إحنا عنا مشكلة يعني انت بقولنا يعني العالم. Pay attention to us. مش إنه بس إسرائيل. Look at us, not just look at Israel. What would you do if you were Israel in Israel's shoes and Gazans were shooting rockets all the time? شو ممكن تعمل لو أنت كنت في مكان إسرائيل وكان بيجي عليك صواريخ من غزة؟ So these are like questions that the news and politicians are not. You can't ask such a question. Why not? These are not provocative questions. People outside do not understand. So explain, explain. Okay, I'm not, I'm not. I'll... So he's saying you should say that this is just a response. They're the ones, Israel, began the aggression. Yeah, but the question is what would you do if you were in Israel? Why Gazans uh, threw rockets at Israel? These are handmade uh, rockets, mm -hmm. so they're made in Gaza itself. It's not like a huge factory or like something imported from outside. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing. It cannot be compared to what we use and what Israel uses. Israel and there is no comparison between the rockets of Israel and the rockets of Gaza. Israel is a country and the Gaza is just a city. So the question is, it's wrong to ask this question. So the point is, they, did not, they were not the ones who began. So it all began by Israel crossing the red line that so what happened was that meaning going into Al Aqsa. Yes. So it's not the Gazans that began the rockets, and I think this is where we stopped. And with all due respect to everyone and to the answers and to the question, but the question is wrong. There should not be a comparison. The question should be reversed. If you were in the part, if you were in Gaza and your children were being killed. What would you do? That should be the And I love how the person I'm actually asking has not said a word. Just saying. Please support the Ask Project. Uh, the way I'm able to do this is for, for you guys to donate and contribute money to the project. And I'm able to come to places like this and ask your questions. So please see the description, send me questions, subscribe, ring the bell, and donate uh, and contribute money if you can. Thank you.